Although Cooper B is dead, can you recall what happens to Cooper A inside the Tesseract? I mean after he sends the coordinate to young Murph and the quantum data to adult Murph. Well, you guessed it. The Tesseract collapses and Cooper is suddenly transported to some kind of in-between reality. He makes contact with the spaceship and Dr. Brand. In our timeline, this is how it looks. This path represents the idea of traveling between the two different realities. Cooper A goes to timeline B, the timeline where basically is not his origin timeline. Which brings us to my second proof. When Cooper A appears in this new timeline and reunites with Grandma Murph, I feel that there's definitely something very strange in this particular scene. What would that be if you had to guess? Well, this is what I'm talking about. Because my dad promised me. I find it incredibly weird when one of the characters in the movie speaks in the third person, when she has the clear opportunity to refer to him directly. She had the option to say, because you promised me. 